In this video, we are going to discuss about time scaling property of Laplace transforms. So, here time scaling property means if you are having any signal, if you scale the time of signal, that means if you are having x of t, if you scaled the time period like x of 2t, 3t, 8t like that, the scaled version of signal is also having spectrum. So, the relation between the spectrum of x of t and x of a t we are going to get here. So, for better understanding, I am going to consider any signal x of t. If this x of t having Laplace transform x of s, then time scaling property. time scaling property states that x of a t is a scaled version of this signal, time scaled version of this signal. The Laplace transform of the scaled version of signal is equivalent to the spectrum of scaled version of signal is equivalent to 1 by modulus of a x of s by a. That means if x of t is having this spectrum, this spectrum is going to change when we scale the time. So, how that is going to change means it will change like 1 by modulus of a into x of s by a. So, now I want to consider proof for this property. Here to prove this, I want to consider Laplace transform equation basic Laplace transform of any signal x of t is always can be represented with x of s. This is equal into integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. This is the standard Laplace transform equation to get the spectrum of the signal x of t. But we do not want any Laplace transform of x of t. We need to prove Laplace transform of x of a t is equivalent to this. So, that is why I am going to consider Laplace transform of x of a t. So, that means time scaled version of x of t. So, here our signal is x of a t. So, in this equation where you can find x of t there you just replace x of a t then you will get the equation for Laplace transform of x of a t. So, here I am replacing that x of t with x of a t rest is same. So, whatever signal we are we are taking for calculation of Laplace transform that signal we need to consider in the equation of Laplace transform. So, x of a t into e power minus s t dt. In just a standard equation in the signal we need to substitute our signal. For example, anyone ask you Laplace transform of f of t is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity f of t into e power minus s t dt. So, like that whatever they given as a signal. So, here we need to replace in the form of signal. So, now I am going to simplify like this. I want to consider some considerations let these are the considerations I am taking let a t is equivalent to some b. So, this scaled time I am taking as another time constant b. So, here t is equivalent to b by a. Always this a is a constant. Why? Because how we are scaling like 2t, 3t, 4t that is an integer or constant. Scaling factor is a constant. So, a is a scaling factor here. So, t is a variable and t into scaling factor is also a variable. So, t is equivalent to b by a. If you take differentiation on both sides, then you will get dt is equivalent to db by a as a is a constant. There is no effect of differentiation on a. 1 by a into d by dt of b will take db. So, now, so dt is equivalent to db by a. All these considerations I am going to substitute here. So, Laplace transform of x of a t is equivalent to so, here if you substitute a t in place of a t, if you substitute b, you are going to get integral minus infinity to infinity x of b 
e power minus s in place of t now onwards you can substitute b by a so s into b by a and uh, you are having dt in dt place you can substitute db by a you can see so in this integration now this integration it turn to in terms of b that means in this integration if you see so integral db means this integration is having effect on b variables b is variable here remaining everything is constant so here this 1 by a i am taking out because that is a constant so here i am writing 1 by modulus of a because always that scaling factor is a positive scaling factor 1 by modulus of a integral minus infinity to infinity x of b e power minus s by a into b i am writing like this s by a into b db now i am replacing replace b with t that means b is equivalent to t consider b is equivalent to t db is equivalent to dt now this equation will turn as 1 by modulus of a integral minus infinity to infinity x of b e power minus s by a into b so in place of b you need to write t when you replace b with t you need to write dt so like this you can see this equation is again in the form of laplace transform equation but here whatever the frequency is there s plane is there that you are having s by a so if you are having s you can you can say that is equivalent to x of s if in the equation if you are having s you can say that is x of s but here you are having s by a so this equation we can write like 1 by modulus of a x of s by a remaining everything is same you can see x of t into e power minus s t dt but here x of t into e power minus s by a t into dt only s is varying if you are having s that can be considered as standard equation and they are considering like x of s but here you are having s by a so that's why you are writing x of s by a so finally laplace transform of x of a t laplace transform of x of a t time domain signal scaled version of x of t is equivalent to 1 by modulus of a x of s by a hence proved for example you are having any problem like this for x of 2t for x of t if the transform is 1 by s plus 1 the laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to 1 by s plus 1 then what is the transform of x of 2t so here if you don't know this property how you will uh, you will do this procedure what you are doing is you need to take inverse transform and you need to get the signal x of t and in that you need to substitute 2t in place of t and again you need to consider laplace transform so no need to do that type of things when you have time scaling in your signal so definitely you can process like this 1 by s plus 1 in 1 by s plus 1 so here according to that property 1 by modulus of a means in in place of a you are having 2 1 by modulus of 2 x of s by 2 already this is x of s laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to x of s this is the value of x of s here you need to multiply you need to consider x of s by 2 that means if this is x of s you can trace the value of x of s by 2 so 1 by 2 so wherever you are having s yes, there you need to consider s yes by 2 so x of s by 2 like this you need to consider so here if you consider that 1 by 2 1 by s plus 2 2 2 will be cancelled 1 by s plus 2 you will get 1 by s plus 2 like this way you can solve so many problems by using time scaling property of Laplace transforms.